everyone welcome back to possessed guardians my name is laura and today i'm going to talk to you a little bit about my dolls and alice so for those of you new to the page this is my journey into the paranormal world and specifically haunted dolls so alice 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 i cannot explain to you how drawn i was to alice as soon as i saw her picture i fell in love and i couldn't stop thinking about her and i knew i had to have her so she was sold as a haunted doll i don't know how much i buy into that well obviously i must buy into it a bit because i bought her but i mean i just don't know how much i believe in it all yeah I'm, I'm still open-minded I'm still learning and you know I'm, I'm super excited to meet her anyway so Alice was sold as a haunted doll now there isn't too much history about her or there is but there isn't that we know of so the lady that I bought her from sorry I keep saying bought the lady that I adopted her from you adopt a spirited vessel you don't buy them you adopt them for a fee. So the lady I adopted her from found Alice in a charity shop. Now that is quite a common way to find um, spirited items, possessed items, vessels, things like that. Generally, I mean, if you think about it, charity shops have a lot of history in them. The, the items that are there, some of them are quite old, old, ancient artifacts. I'm just basically spewing words now. Um, so yeah, the, the items that are in charity shops are pre-owned. We get there, we get there in the end. We don't do, we, we just keep rambling and hope for the best. But yeah, charity shops, uh, car boot sales, second-hand stores, house clearances, all those sorts of places, very good, supposedly for finding these, these vessels that spirits have attached themselves to. So that's where Alice came from originally. Well, not originally, but that's why the lady that I have adopted, adopted her, adopted, adopted her from, I don't know, the lady that is giving her out. Like I said, I've not really got much better at this, have I? So the lady worked with Alice in the sense that she did find out that the spirit was called Alice and that she was a young spirit um she was very gentle which she was quite mysterious which sort of then plays into the fact that actually she is potentially a child spirit which is quite interesting so the lady that was that has alice that i adopted alice from i really need to learn another word i don't adopt do you know what i mean like you know when you what's the person who's giving away the adopted item called like owner I don't know. I, I think I've just gone off the rails there. Anyway, the lady that had Alice, the lady that had Alice did some work with her, but unfortunately she didn't have a lot of time to work with Alice. So I don't know if you know too much about um, spirit dolls and vessels and things like that. So you are supposed to really spend time with them uh, create a relationship with them a bond with them and the more that you work with them the more comfortable they get with you and the more you get from them that's the whole one of the whole sort of theories behind it I mean you do supposedly get dolls who will have activity without you interacting with them but again it's one of those things isn't it where you just don't really know for certain so yeah Alice will be with me hopefully next week or, or this week coming um super excited i was super excited to share her with you she is a tiny doll apparently to be honest i've got no concept of um measurements so you could tell me how big something was and i i still wouldn't really have much of an idea it is a bit hazardous when i order stuff online so anyway yeah alice 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 will be here. I will work with Alice. Um, I will post some videos with Alice as well. Um, yeah, so another doll that I have 
that I showed you in the first video, she normally sits behind me. So the reason she's not behind me, the reason I keep looking down here actually, is because she's down here. So I thought I would just do, I'm not going to work with her yet. I'm, I only got her yesterday, so I'm still sort of welcoming her into the home. So she, I'll show you her actually, because I think it's a bit awkward because I just keep looking down there because she's there and I keep saying she, like I said in my last video, well, if you've watched it, maybe you haven't. Um, I don't know if this doll is haunted. And I also don't know if it is haunted, if it's a boy or a girl, but I instinctively call it a she and I, I kind of have just stuck with that. I suppose it's because it's a female doll. I don't know. Anyway. So she doesn't have a name, he, it, I don't like the word it, my doll doesn't have a name. So she is beautiful, she's just in a charity shop, I say in a charity shop, obviously we're in lockdown so we can't actually go to a charity shop, she was on a, a charity shop website so she was just sold as a um, bisque doll with really unkempt, un, unkempt hair, matted, matted hair. Oh, honestly, it's not been looked after. And I have tried a little bit to fix it, but I need to try some more. Anyway, so this is, I'll show you her. Oh, sorry, I've got ringing in my ear. This is my beautiful new doll. So I don't know if she's haunted but I did share her picture on a couple of the um, Sorry, I'm just getting really, really distracted and I don't know why. So I'm going to move her forward a bit, actually. Um, so, yeah, I shared her picture on some of the Facebook doll, haunted doll communities just to see if any of the, the people on there could, could pick up any sort of vibe about her or, you know, just a bit of an idea as to whether they thought that she was um a spirited item or not so again it's up to you whether you choose to believe what the the people say i mean the people in this community are well and truly in this community they generally have haunted or spirited items themselves they they talk to the dolls um or their spirits and they are it, it's a very serious matter for them so i can't say whether they are right or wrong but i think it's super interesting the feedback about this beautiful lady that i got so I posted a picture up of her and um, it was really interesting. So I said, I was very honest, and I said, I, I just got her from charity shop. Um, she wasn't sold as haunted. Does anyone have any, any kind of vibe from her? And also specifically if they had an idea of a name. So a few of the people that commented, so when I first met her, I, for some reason, felt like if she was spirited, then she would be quite an old spirit. Like, I got that, that vibe from from her, that it was, you know, an old an old spirit, an old soul. Um, and it was really interesting, because I didn't share any of this information on the post, but um, a few people that had commented had said that it felt like an older spirit. It definitely wasn't a child um 25 and over i mean i think my feeling is is fairly elderly but i don't know that's that i'm new to this world aren't i like i don't really know but yeah i thought that was super interesting that they came up with that as well and um, another lady had actually said that um this doll was super haunted um, it was an amazing find that she was a really beautiful and happy spirit and that she loved to be loved and she loved to to see people smile and to make people happy and she was really powerful as well 
I think that's quite interesting because actually when I am with her and she has spent a lot of time with me the last two days. Well, I got her yesterday, so the last, like, I don't know, a couple of days. Um, she feels really positive. Um, I mean, I don't know how much of that is, if there's a spirit in there or if that's just my way of thinking about her. Um, but, yes, yeah, so I, I, I thought that was super interesting. Um, another lady had said that they thought her name began with an M and was leaning towards Martha and then another lady had said possibly a Meg so what I am going to do um is once I have a, built a bit more of a relationship with her I mean my the lady on one of the communities that said that she was super super powerful like a super happy spirit also said that she wasn't shy and that she was very keen to, to make her presence known and like apparitions and stuff like that so that's quite interesting so i am probably going to do some pendulum work with her um which i will i'll talk about in another video but yeah i'm, I'm super excited and i desperately need to find out her name or his name i'm thinking of her but yeah so um this is my beautiful lady that I am hopefully her shoelaces just always come undone they just don't like to stay up do they love um so yeah so she has got I do she needs some work on her hair and she has got a little fringe but I don't know what do you think I, I did ask her if, if she was okay with being on the video um I don't know why I think I, I just felt like I really had to ask permission um, I think mostly it's that fear of the unknown and that fear that if she is a spirit I don't want to um, annoy her or upset her or anger her so yeah I think it's about being polite I hope it's about being polite but yeah this is oh my beautiful lady i just thought i'd give you a little little tour of her on oh, her hair i promise i am going to do something about her hair i'm going to do something about your hair just for your own sake we did try and and um fix it a little bit yesterday but i'm I'm just trying to be a bit delicate I'm not very delicate with my own hair and I'm just quite worried about I don't know like ruining her can you imagine I've had the two days and then just bloody destroy her hair but anyway she is my new best friend at the moment she spent all her first day with me she sat with me on the sofa and then while i was in the kitchen i was making some um, wax melts and she sat in with me and then she sleeps behind me um i've got her a little blanket and I, she sleeps there people find it a bit weird that she sleeps in the same room as me but i think well why not why not but yeah that is my nameless doll hopefully the next time i see you guys or the next time we see you guys um we'll have a name for this beauty and we might even have alice as well so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope this was list let well we did so well up until that point we didn't did we really we just rambled but i really thought i got my words out today i probably didn't when I watch this back in a minute, I think I'm probably going to be absolutely horrified, but it's what it is. So thank you for watching. Um, she distracts me so much. I'm just watching her. Um, but yeah, any um, comments that you have on this beauty, if you sense anything from her, if you get any vibes from her, feel free to comment below. Um, if there's anything you want me to specifically talk about, I mean, I know that I generally tend to ramble quite a lot, but I can sometimes get to the point probably 
I'll try. But if there's anything that you want me to look into, anything you want me to, to talk about in my next videos, then absolutely comment below. But yeah, give us a follow, like this video, share it to all your friends if you want. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at her shoelace. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.